Who has the best YouTube keyword tool extensions? Is it TubeBuddy or is it vidIQ? That's the reason why we've created this video series to do a full and fair comparison between these two great YouTube tools. If you wanna watch the full comparison, we'll leave a link for you in the description below. In this video, we're going to show you the comparison in the Search Explorer tool when you're searching specific keywords on YouTube. Let's not waste another second and get right into it. Search Explorer. Let's start on the homepage with Search Explorer. When you search a term on YouTube, the TubeBuddy plugin will give you a section to the right hand side of the search results. It gives you information about the search term you've just typed into YouTube. Let's test TubeBuddy with the keyword TubeBuddy. The keyword score. TubeBuddy will give you a score for your keyword based on the search volume and competition. This score is unweighted, but you can get a weighted score that's specific to your channel if you click on weighted score. Now, this score is out of 100. Zero being the keyword is terrible, and 100 being the best keyword in the entire world. TubeBuddy will also give you the monthly search volume for the keyword. Keyword stats the number of monthly searches. This is an important metric if you wanna get consistent search traffic for your YouTube video. Be careful going for high volume search terms while your channel is still small. Most of the search terms with high volume will be very competitive and you will battle to rank these terms when you're first starting out. But it's not impossible. Most views and least views will also help you understand what the normal volume of views are on videos about this topic. There's also the number of times a keyword appears in the title, the number of times the keyword appears in the description. This will help you in how to craft your title and how to write your description for your videos. Then there's the keywords in the tags, how many times that exact keyword is mentioned in the tags, and then there's search intent. Make sure that you completely understand the search intent for the keyword. This is going to help you use keywords that are similar to the keyword term that's been typed in, but still have the same search intent. This is the way YouTube and Google are moving towards. So this is really important part to understand. The stats also show you the top channel, which is obviously TubeBuddy. We should hope so. And then it also lists how many of your own videos are in the search results. TubeBuddy will also show you related searches to your keyword. So they're gonna show you what other people are searching that is related to the intent of your search query. The last section that TubeBuddy shows you is the most used tags for this specific keyword. This is gonna give you some ideas of what people are searching around the topic and what keyword tags you can use that other creators are using to get their views. Now that we're done going through the TubeBuddy tool, we're gonna to move on to the vidIQ tool and compare the two so that we can show you a complete and fair comparison between the two tools. Now remember, we use the paid version of TubeBuddy and the paid version of vidIQ so that it's a fair and equal comparison. If you have any questions or queries about anything in this video, let us know in the comment section below and we'll be happy to help you out and let you know what we think of these tools. Let's start again on the YouTube homepage with Search Panel. When you search a term on YouTube, the vidIQ plugin will give you a section to the right of your search results that gives you information about the search term you've typed in. Let's test vidIQ with the search term vidIQ. An added feature of vidIQ Pro is you can enable inline keywords. If you turn this feature off, you won't see any of the keywords for the videos in the search results. If we enable this feature again, you'll see how we can view all the keywords for the videos in the search results. 
This is a really cool added benefit if you upgrade to the pro version of vidIQ. Let's head over to the search panel on the right hand side. The search panel will give you the highest views, the average views and the average subscribers. They will also let you know how many of the videos in the search results were added in the last 7 days. How many of those videos have closed captions in them? What's the average age of the video in the search results? How many times the keyword is in the title? And how many times the keyword is in the description? I'm not entirely sure why this is showing zero for both of these, but some of them do have the keyword in the title and do have the keyword listed down in the description. So these will normally show you how to craft your titles and how to write up the descriptions for your videos to help them rank in search. The last item they're going to show you is the top creator and it's vidIQ. We should hope so. Moving down to the keyword score. The vidIQ tool will give you an overall score for the keyword which is 70 out of 100. Zero being really really low and poor and 100 being the best keyword that you could look for to rank on your YouTube channel. So 70 out of 100 is a pretty good score and as you can see it's in green. vidIQ calculates the score by having a look at the search volume of the keyword which is 62 and analyzing the competition for the keyword. And the competition is really low. So we're in the green zone for volume and in the green zone for competition which is a really good sign that it's a good keyword. vidIQ will also show you the top channels for this search term which is vidIQ video creators and the tech it realm. Next we have the related queries which is from Google Trends. These are the queries that other people are searching around the world related to the search query vidIQ. So there's vidIQ YouTube which is 100, PewDiePie which is 42, vidIQ for YouTube which is 39 and T-Series which is 32. So PewDiePie and T-Series don't have much related to vidIQ but they are related to YouTube, so that's why they're currently showing them. Then we get a list of the top related keywords. There's vidIQ Crack, which is a score of 74. vidIQ Boost Crack 2019, which is a score of 73. Video Marketing, a score of 71. TubeBuddy, a score of 71. And a TubeBuddy Tutorial, a score of 70. So all of these related keywords, they're gonna show you the overall score that you will get and you can compare the top related keywords to the keyword that we've searched. And last but not least, vidIQ is going to show you the trending videos for this search term. They're gonna show you the views for the video and also the VPH, which is the views per hour or the video's velocity. This is a really important metric because it's gonna determine how much YouTube pushes out your video to more viewers on YouTube and get you more views. This is something you need to work on when you're first putting your video out to get your views per hour up so that YouTube sees it as a video worth promoting. If you want to learn more about how to get your views per hour up, have a look at more of our videos on our channel that help you do exactly this. And now, the final results for our best YouTube keyword tool extension of 2020 Drum roll, please. Our best YouTube keyword tool extension for 2020 is TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy sneaks in just ahead of vidIQ, and the only reason why TubeBuddy is sneaking through to win the first round of the biggest comparison for best YouTube keyword tool of 2020 is because they give you the monthly search volume of the keyword you're exploring. If we look at all the other features of these tools, they are very similar. They're giving you all the same information. They're both great paid tools and that's why we use the paid version of both these tools. And we would recommend if you want to take YouTube seriously, then you upgrade to the paid version. If you want to look at the pricing for the paid versions, have a look at the link in the description below and we'll link to the different options that you have available to you. We hope you enjoyed this best YouTube keyword tool extension comparison video between TubeBuddy and vidIQ. 
Let us know in the comment section below which is your favorite tool. Do you prefer TubeBuddy or VidIQ? And has our video changed your mind? If you have any questions or queries, let us know in the comment section below. If you want to watch the full comparison of this video, we'll leave a link for you in the description below. And if you want to learn more about YouTube and how to start and grow your audience online, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos just like this one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.